since action graph is complete now we can drive the vehicle so let's create a simple scene so where we can just drive and let's go to the world and create physics physics scene and create physics ground plane and it's too bright so i will also create material omni pbr and name it material ground and give it a little bit darkish color maybe a bit darkish like this i think it's okay this looks fine and let me drag and drop the musher and zoom in let's give it a try and let's see if everything is all right as we hold it here seems okay seems okay and seems oh no it's pets check them again and save it as simple scene so we can use it later and let's open our terminal and you can find the code in the github and let's launch musher as a controller musher joy that launch and yeah steering and the gas is working so let's let's run and see what's going on okay we are running but uh, so it's jumping and if you are wondering why it's jumping it's because that somehow when we were importing the urds uh our wheels turn out to be boxes uh, i don't know why but uh some strange uh importing happened everything is as box so we ch has chosen uh convex the composition i don't know why but it didn't apply so it doesn't matter uh it's a good chance that we can fix these now so let me close the terminal and let me show you so if you go to uh the for example back left building and select the collisions <laughs> collisions and you will see that it's a box and how we are supposed to change this is very easy Just delete that and on the back left field link right click create not mesh but shape and a cylinder is huge uh go to scale make it 0 0.1 and for z it will be 0 0.03 and the orientation is 90 degrees around the x axis so if you close the visuals you will see that now there is a cylinder but that's not enough of course and right click and add physics collider and now you can see that we have a nice cylinder as a wheel now so let's control d to duplicate and move it to back right don't forget to delete the old collider all right one more and then this goes to front left wheel link delete the collider and one more time and this goes to front right wheel link delete the collider and put it in it okay save the simple scene and let's play one more time and here we go it's working now so this is one way or the other way is just changing the urdf because in the urdf they are uh the colliders has been given as the DAE files so you can easily make them cylinders in the URDF so 
if you are going to use this, uh, the URDF in other environment like Gazebo or something, some other simulator, maybe it's a better idea to just change them. Or maybe in the other simulators, there is no such problem. So you would like to keep it as it is. And you can, as you can see, change it this way. Uh, so now we are able to go back and forth, but steering is not working, even though the I'm just steering right now. So let's fix that, okay? So let's go to the steer link and well, not the throttle because we imported it and it didn't change its places, so it's under the base link. And front left wheel steer. Let's click on it, and you can see that. First of all, the, the axis is wrong, or the, the limiting angles are wrong. So, either we have to rotate it, and let's do that. We can rotate it. Let's go to the base link, front left wheel steer, and let's rotate it uh, with the pressing E, we'll open the Oh, the second time is crashing. Let me see what's happening. One more time, let's try. I don't know why it's crashing, but let's see. Base link, go to the front left steer wheel and let's rotate. Okay, something happened. I don't know what, but uh, maybe we can look from the top to see it better. And let's close. And let me see. Okay, they are not visible this way. Anyway, this looks fine to me. So, but I don't want it to rotate ninety degrees. Maybe at most uh, seventy-five to seventy-five degrees. Uh, we can change it later. But the most important part now is let me zoom. As you can remember, when we were importing as a URDF, uh, we choose the velocity. So the damping is high and stiffness is zero because of this. So we have to change that. I will give it a 10 to 2 damping and 10 to 4 stiffness. Okay. So for the revolute joints, the stiffness has to be higher than the damping. The, the values can differ. Uh, according to your joint but in every way the stiffness has to be higher so let me do the same uh, with the right wheel steer so let's rotate it's okay and let's go down a little minus 75 to 75 and 10 to 2, 10 to 4, and okay, let me save. Crash again. Let's try. Okay. All right. Now we have a completely working car. So it's turning left, right, and no problem at all. Yep. Seems good, seems nice. And in the next video, I will show you how to add physical materials, which are important because, as you can see, it's a bit sliding. The wheels just, you know, a little bit sliding way more than i want so in the next video i will show you how to do that see you in the next video